EOS Price Prediction Will it take off again EOS, the coin of the decentralized application, DAP platform, EOS, has seen its price sliding downward since last September and today, 14 March, it has had another 2% trimmed off at $1.96. Disputes between the EOS Network Foundation and parent company Block.one has not held the price neither has negative market sentiment and disquiet over the war in Ukraine and the impact of economic sanctions. On the plus side EOS is the second most popular DAP platform after Ethereum and has been gaining attention. According to State of Thetops, a curated directory of decentralized apps, there are 3,974 DAPs currently operational, of which Ethereum hosts 2,939, while EOS has 331, with 55,950 daily active users as of 14 March 2022. DApps have gained popularity because of their increased privacy and autonomy. Could 2022 be a game changing year for EOS? This article covers a detailed fundamental and technical analysis, as well as the project's latest developments, to help you forecast a plausible EOS crypto price prediction. What is the EOS coin? EOCO is a decentralized application, DAP platform launched by blockchain company Block.one. It allows the development of decentralized applications that are secure, open, and scalable. Eosio claims that its fast transaction rates and sub-second block time latency empower programmers to process transactions at a cheaper cost. Additionally, Eosio is designed to be configurable, useful for developing and maintaining programmable infrastructures. This allows developers to create public or private blockchain networks via the use of programmable smart contracts. EOCO distinguishes itself from other blockchains by enabling upgradable smart contracts and being designed in C. EOCO currently supports two public blockchains, EOS and Telos, and over 400 applications, including Upland and Defibox. Additionally, the EOCO network powers the EOS Public Network, a delegated proof of stake based system. EOS allows individuals and organizations to develop and use a diverse range of decentralized applications. While EOCO is a critical component of the EOS Public Network's governance, it is not centralized. Instead, it is managed by a collaborative network of token holders. The EOS coin is the network's native token. Developers must own EOS tokens to access network resources and create and operate apps. Token holders who do not run any applications can rent their bandwidth and earn staking rewards. EOS News and Price Driver Sayos has undergone several important milestones, which may drive the EOS coin future target price. Launch of Ultra Blockchain for Game Developers In January 2020, the EOCO Network launched Ultra, a gaming platform built on EOCO that offers content production resources to game developers. Ultra proposes charging game developers a 15% fee, which is less than other established platforms such as Steam, which charges 30%. Additionally, game producers can use non fungible tokens. NFTs to create unique in-game elements such as weaponry or clothing. Further, Ultra claims that its NFT integration offers new revenue streams for developers by allowing them to promote their games while continuing to profit on the secondary market of NFTs. Launch of AdNode to improve digital. Advertising practice COC launched AdNode in August 2020 to assist agencies in addressing the problem of excessive expenditure and fraud in the digital advertising industry. AdNode asserts that streamlining the digital advertising reconciliation process enhances the dynamic of how ad buyers and sellers engage with each other. AdNode automates the entire billing reconciliation process, including evaluating underlying data, orders, bills, and settlements using EOCO base proofs. According to the company, company's management, the early results were satisfactory, with around 25% increase in inventory efficiency for publishers and approximately 50% reduction in media expenditure for advertisers. Partnership with Lacane to promote blockchain development in July 2021, the EOCO network established a partnership with Lacane, an inter American development bank backed effort to diffuse blockchain technology across Latin America and 
the Caribbean. Black Cane is supported by a highly respected financial organization, the IDB, the major source of development funds for improving living conditions in Latin America, and the Caribbean. Edgar Fernandez, the co founder of EOS Costa Rica, said he saw massive potential in Latin America, where the market was ripe for a practical technological breakthrough. In August 2021, the EOCO network joined forces with Greenback, a plastic recycling and certification startup, to increase visibility across the plastic recycling supply chain. Greenback's mission is to reduce CO2 emission and fossil oil depletion by recirculating waste plastics and aluminium into the industrial cycle and to reclassify abandoned packaging as a valuable harvestable commodity. Greenback's solution to sustainable distributed recycling management uses EOCO to combat fraud and provide a reliable method for tracing the origins of plastic packaging and process products. EOS Community vs. Block. One. The battle to control the split of the EOS community away from Block. One. The organization that developed the project over the community vote decision to stop payments has had little effect on the EOS coin price. Trouble started when the EOS Network Foundation (ENF) the rebels claimed Block. One was no longer acting in the network's best interests. Then the top 25 EOS block producers elected to stop issuing $67 million, around $214 million, $157 million EOS vesting tokens scheduled to be unlocked and distributed to Block.one over the next seven or so years. Yves LaRose, a heads up the ENF, said, over the course of the last year, we have seen a significant decline in the rate and quality of co-production, being output for Yosio Block. One. Things came to the boil when in November, Block. One sold 45 million tokens to fund a purchase, but the ENF argued that the vesting tokens legally and rightfully belonged to the network. An attempt at finding an agreement failed which led to the block owner's vote. L.A. Rose said, there was no confiscation, no tokens in the Block.one account were taken, the account was not changed, keys were not modified. The network is no longer paying Block.one from the EOCO.stake account, that is all. On 19 December, it became clear a deal had been reached between the two parties, with LaRose tweeting that the break between Block.one and the network was clean. He added that, the EOS community doesn't own its own codebase repo, nor does it own the IP of its own product base. Those are held in private and public entities that have their own respective shareholders. A rebrand is relatively simple and a means to start fresh. In a later tweet he added, the EOS community now sits as its own product, lead. The development was keenly watched by the crypto community as it showed the first real test to what a decentralized community could do when it flexes its muscles. On 17 February, the EOS Network Foundation announced it was considering legal action against its parent block. One, alleging that it broke promises to invest in the network and its failure to follow through affected network participants. Although the exact value of the claim has yet to, to be decided. Cited, the blockchain protocol did raise $4.1 billion from network participants, so if any action goes ahead, the eventual amount is likely to be significant. The announcement was made by Yves LaRose, the CEO of the foundation, to let